I don't want to wake baby. Don't talk so loud. Nine o'clock? Thanks. Oh, you sent up the papers? All of them? Thanks. Yes, the notices of the opening last night. Oh, it's a wow. Yes, it ought to run a year. I and the wife made a big personal hit. I bet you there won't be any more three-a-day vaudeville for Daryl and Sloan. No, I didn't read them. No, I don't have to read them. I know we're good. I just want the papers to show to her. Goodbye. Good morning, dear. Can you sleep well? What time is it? Half past. Half past what? I don't know. The other hand of my watch is gone. What did the critics say about the show? Oh, they said a lot of things. But don't you think you'd better wait until after breakfast? Gee, you must be hungry, dear. Oh, don't try to kid me, Benny. I know the show's a flop. I oh, just no, know. Dear. No, look here. Look at the things they say. Look here. Daryl and Sloan, a clever dancing team, was the one bright spot of the evening. There, get a load of that was the one bright spot of the evening. Or perhaps they only seem bright by contrast to the rest of this gloomy musical comedy. Oh, now, baby, baby, you know how them critics are. Say, they don't know a good show when they see one. What do you say, baby, we order up a nice big breakfast, huh? I suppose you could sit there and eat. Who, me? Sure. I, I could sit any place and eat. I sprained my wrist once in a cafeteria changing my mind. Hello, sister. Give me the groceries department. What'll I order for breakfast, baby? After the show closes, we'll be eating coffee and sinkers again. Oh, hello. Uh, a little, a little nourishment for seven one three. Well, I, I don't know. We're, we're not very hungry. You, you might send up some orange juice, some oatmeal, a few bacon and eggs, French fried potatoes, a couple of steaks, and toast and coffee. And say, listen, uh, uh, this is for breakfast. Try and have it up here before dinner, will you? All right, goodbye. What's the matter, baby? You're not losing your temper, are you? That's all I've ever had to lose with you. Oh, but Flo, wait a minute. You've been telling me to wait a minute ever since I married you. Wait till we get, uh, wait till we get on Broadway, you said. Wait till we get on Broadway and we'll knock them cold well. Here we are on Broadway and we couldn't even knock the guys cold that didn't pay for their seats. Thanks. Now back to the sticks again. Well, not for me. Do you think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in a small time crowd? You're wrong. Well, what do you want to do, baby? Oh, I want to get up in the world. I've been living in a suitcase ever since I married you. Well, I carried it, didn't I? Oh, Benny, I wasn't made for this kind of life. I'm ambitious. I got the face and figure to be somebody. <laughs> oh, I'm so unhappy. 
Come in. Someone sent you some flowers. Much obliged. That's all right, Mr. Dow. Gee whiz, honey. Get a load of them posies, will you? Alexander Winston. Somebody I don't know, baby? Uh, uh, I don't know him either. I've often read of him in the papers. He's Park Avenue. One of the real 400. Yeah? Well, what did he send you, though? Oh, I suppose he saw me in the show and admired me. Could happen, you know. He's the sort of person we'd meet if you had more ambition. You're a great help to a person who wants to be somebody. Oh, baby, why, why try to be somebody else? Gee, I, I think you're just wonderful just being yourself. But, Benny, don't you see? We're not getting anywhere. You're satisfied to stay where you are. Look at your friends. Lou Lewis, a cheap songwriter, and the dumb cabaret singer that trails after him. Oh, Lou and Peggy are all right. Well, they're not my kind, and they're always coming here. I'm sick of seeing them around. Come in. Hello, folks. What do you know? Hello, Lou. Hiya, baby. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Benny. Well, I was just saying you might drop in. Well, I brought the hard luck along. Oh, Lou. Hello, Flo. Good morning. You must come and see us sometime. She must be mad about something. You ought to have been a detective. Say, Benny, I got a new song. Boy, it's a pip. I want to play it for you. Don't mind if I use a piano, do you? Oh, go ahead. Thanks. We all need someone we can lean upon. Give us guidance when we're all be gone. Ships lost on the ocean Until the light breaks through the dawn Just like a sunflower Lives for a sun shower My inspiration is you just like the joy after hearing a child's laughter, my inspiration is you. You're like the dream of every poet. You stand so free. Raves an ideal sweetheart, my inspiration. Flo's a little bit discouraged, I guess. We've been so happy for three years. Boy, that's a record, too. I'll always be in love with her. What a song title. There it is, Benny. I'll always be in love with you. Words and music by Lou Lewis. I'll always be in love with you. Come in. Where have you been? I don't cook it. Lucky for us. I'll see you around. Oh, baby, the hot groceries are here. Come on, Puncher, it's time to blow. I want to write this one at home. Oh, he's always taking me home just when I'm having a good time. Goodbye, Benny. Goodbye, Peggy. So long, Benny. So long, Lou. Love is a wonderful thing, but personally, I prefer spinach. See you later. Where are you going? I'm through, Benny. I just want to get away. I'm going to find another job. Do you mean you want to split? You, you don't think I'll make the grade? We've tried it together three years. 
Well, gee, baby, you, you used to laugh at all our troubles. You can't keep on laughing forever. Well, sure you can, honey. You know what Jonah said to the whale? You can't keep a good man down. That's just the trouble with you, Benny. You laugh at everything and leave me to do the worrying. Don't you love me anymore, dear? Sure, I love you. But I'm ambitious. The only way to get up in the world is to climb there. I can do it better alone. You, you're taking Salome, too? Well, yes. You won't forget to feed her, will you? Certainly not. I'll see you tonight at the theater. I'll finish the week out. I'll send for my trunk this afternoon. Goodbye. Goodbye. You must have been asleep. You didn't hear me knock. Oh, hello. Get right in, Mr. Winston. Benny, old kid, when you picked me for an agent, you made the wisest move of your entire career. An agent who never lays down on the job. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. I want you to meet Mr. Winston. Who? Mr. Alexander Winston. How are you? He seen your show last night. Yes, I know. I'm glad to meet you. Where's your partner? She just stepped out. Well, I'm backing the club tree and all. I'm looking for a dancing team. Like your work in the show last night. And I'm prepared to offer you and Miss Sloan $500 a week. What? $500 a week. Did you hear that, Billy? What do you say? I ain't interested. You ain't interested? I'll pay you $600 a week. No, I... I told you, I, I ain't interested. Listen, who do you think you are, Charlie Chaplin? $700. No, it's, it's too late. Well, then, uh, $800. 800 for what? How do you do? My name is Winston. Oh, how do you do? I was just offering your partner $800 a week for you to dance at a nightclub I'm interested in. And Benny wouldn't take it. Can you imagine that? Well, Benny was only kidding you. Of course we'll take it. What do you mean? Sure, we'll take it. Good. Your agent will draw up the contract. Well, I shall probably be seeing you again soon. Goodbye. Or shall we say, au revoir? Yes. Bye. Goodbye. Gee, baby, you're lucky to have me for an agent. Oh, sure. Listen, I'll be back with the contract myself in an hour. Now, don't go away. I came back to get Salome's blanket. I forgot it. Yeah? $800 a week. I can hardly believe it. I'll be dancing in a swell nightclub, wearing beautiful clothes, meeting everybody in society. We'll have a limousine. You pick the car, I'll write the check. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, Katie. Hello, Lou. Hello, Jake. Well, still writing songs? Yes, yeah, still picking pockets? <laughs> I suppose you dropped in to see Benny and Flo open tonight. Yeah. Ain't it wonderful? Two weeks ago, they couldn't pay the hotel bill. And now they're going to dance in a swell joint like this. I certainly hope they make good. Yeah, but if they do, this April take 10% of their salary. Well, an agent's got to live. Why? <laughs> Just the songwriter. See you later. Rita, I'm mad about that frock. You should always wear black, my dear. Thanks, Sylvester. I always will when I'm with you. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Alex. And Sylvester. Oh, go on, you home wrecker. Hello, Alex. Hi, Rita, my dear. Haven't seen you in months. I hear you've gone into business. Interior decorating, isn't it? Yes. You must bring some of your lady friends to my shop. Listen, you he vampire. How is it you're here without a female? Well, we're trying out a new dance team. And I dropped in to see how they go over. 
It's the girls. Pretty? They always are, my dear. But this one dancing partner happens to be our husband. Oh, what's a husband among friends? <laughs> well, excuse me, will you? Certainly. Rita, weren't you engaged to him once? Twice. Alec thinks long engagements are dangerous. They often lead to matrimony. Oh, the handsome devil. He's too smart to marry. Oh, Rita, that music is too divine. Do let's go. I'm so excited. It's such a wonderful chance for Benny and Flo. Gee, I hope they're acting sober. Lou? What is it this time? Do you love me as much as Benny loves Flo? Eat your sandwich. Gee, there's a swell gang here tonight, too. How are you coming, baby? Nearly ready. How soon will you go on? They'll call us any minute now. All right, then. girl. Oh, see who that is. May I come in? Oh, yes. Do. I came to wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. And thank you for these. Not at all. Do you really think Benny and I'll get over tonight? You'd get over anywhere, my dear. You ain't nervous, are you, baby? A little bit, Benny. Your husband seems to stick pretty close. Do you ever go anywhere without him? Well, I never have. That doesn't mean you never will. I don't know. Would you care to have luncheon with me one day, soon? Oh, I'd love to. Good. We'll arrange it then. Very soon. All right. Are you decent, baby? Can I come in? Of course. Oh, come in. I was just going. I came to wish you good luck. Oh, thank you, Mr. Winston. Gee, honey. You look like a million dollars. Do I? Turn around and let me look at your new suit. Oh, I like it. Yeah? The, the, the pants don't fit under the arms. <laughs> Did Winston give you them flowers? Yes. <laughs> I... I guess you won't need mine then. Sure I will, dear. I'll wear them later on. Carol on the floor. All right. We're on next. Gee, I'm nervous. Oh, don't be nervous, baby. We're going out there tonight and give them everything we've got and make them like it. And remember, in the whirls, I'm holding you tight and you can't fall. I'll remember. And listen, baby, if you miss a step, don't worry. I'll be there to pick it up. Are you ready? Yes. Allie up. Now we have a very special number, a melody written by the late Victor Herbert called Our Sweet Mystery of Life. The song will be interpreted in the dance by Daryl and Sloan, who are making their debut here tonight.
program and their feature number. <laughs> This is very pleasant. Here's to us. Mm -hmm. 
Why, what's the matter? Nothing, only... Well, this is the first time I've ever gone anywhere with another man. I hope it won't be the last. Did you, uh, tell Benny you were lunching with me? No, I didn't tell him anything. Good girl. It's easy to spoil husbands by telling them too much. You've probably had a lot of experience with husbands. Very little, fortunately. Perhaps you were more interested in wives. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, women bore me. That's true. <laughs> but you're different. You attracted me from the very first moment I ever saw you. And it's taken me two months to get you to come and have luncheon alone with me. We could have a lot of fun together if, if you hadn't such old-fashioned idea. What did you mean, I have old-fashioned ideas? Well, for one thing, you wouldn't have luncheon at my apartment. You seem to forget I'm married. I wish you'd forget it once in a while. Sometimes I wonder if you're as devoted to Benny as, as you pretend. Why, I... Oh, of course, Benny's all right, but... Well, to be honest, he's not your sort. You've no right to say that. My dear, everyone says the same thing. I hear it wherever your name is mentioned. Have some more of this. No, thanks. We've come a long way together, Benny and I. He's helped me to get all the things I ever dreamed of. Success, money, pretty clothes. And haven't I helped a little? Of course you have, Alex. Well, you gave us our big chance. Without you, I couldn't have met all the sweat... I mean, nice people I know. We couldn't have had such a beautiful apartment on Park Avenue. Benny would have picked one on the corner of 42nd Street and Broadway. Uh -huh. I'm just crazy about the apartment. And it was sweet of you to get Rita Elliott to decorate it for me. I'd like to do a lot of things for you. You have very lovely hands. You think so? You should have some jewels for them. Hands like these deserve beautiful jewels. I'd like to make a little bet with you. A diamond bracelet to anything you like. That a month from now you won't be living with Benny. That's ridiculous. Diamond bracelets would be very becoming. You were meant to have jewels and all the beautiful things in the world. I was just thinking, my dear, that you should have a string of pearls. And I am going to get you one. Well, shall we have luncheon? <laughs> can move in tomorrow. Rita, there isn't a decorator in town who would have worked as hard on this job as you have. Why, anyone would think the Darrells were somebody. Well, they're very famous dancers, and besides, I'm interested in them. But they're so common. Oh, Benny Darrell is a darling. I like him. Yes, but they belong on Broadway. And here they are with an apartment on Park Avenue, just because Alec Winston has taken them up socially. What a revolting chair. Why, that doesn't belong in this room, Rita. Nevertheless, that is where it stays. Mr. Darrell selected it himself. He said he hoped it wouldn't spoil the looks of the place if he had one comfortable chair to park in. Hello, everybody. Ain't Flo here yet? No, she isn't here. How are you? Okay, glad to see you. Flo said she'd meet me here after lunch. Gee whiz. What a swell hut. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, have you met Mr. Sylvester Cunningham? How are you? How do you do? Rita, I'm not quite satisfied with the toot on song. What? The toot on song. Where's it at? Did his father and mother have any children? 
Sylvester, help me with the apartment. Don't open the window. He's liable to fly away. <laughs> There's your comfortable chair. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Say, you're a regular guy. Oh, I never thought I'd ever be living in a swell dump like this. I wish my poor old mother could have seen it. Hello, baby, you're late. How are you, Mr. Winston? How do you do? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Elliot. Alec and I just finished lunch. Oh, it's quite all right. How do you do, Mr. Cunningham? How do you do? So this is the new love nest. Yes, how do you like it, Alec? Charming. Well, it certainly cost a plenty. But anything a little woman wants is okay with me. Hey, Mama? I've always wanted a home like this, full of pretty things. Don't you love antique furniture, Mr. Cunningham? Passionately. Let's play post office. Don't be vulgar. Who, me? Are you ready to toddle along, Rita? Yes. The servant you asked me to engage will be here in the morning, and the apartment will be ready for you to move in. Oh, you've been wonderful to look after everything for us. That's my job. If you want me for anything, you can always find me at my shop. Okay. Au revoir, Planet. Au revoir. I'm going away, Rita. Goodbye. Oh, Miss Elliot, uh, I'd like to give a party as soon as we move in. Something different. Like a swell afternoon musical. I wonder if you'd help me. Perhaps ask some of your friends. Why, of course. Just let me know when and I'll do anything I can. Thanks. Toodaloo. Good luck with your next batch of fudge. <laughs> Haven't you any manners? Who, me? You treated Sylvester Cunningham very badly. Well, a guy with a name like that was born to suffer. The way you act in front of these society people, Benny. Oh, now, wait a minute, Flo. How many times does I tell you not to call me Flo? I've changed my name to Florette. <laughs> you can call yourself Mary Garden. You'll always be mama to me. Do you want people to think we're just a team of hoofers? Well, if we wasn't hoofers, we couldn't have all these nice things. And besides, and another thing I want to tell you, we've got to work out some new dance steps. I hate to see you spending all your practice time with this guy, Winston. Whiz, I never can get you to rehearse. Well, I'm tired of working. You're working too hard trying to be a lady. Oh, don't be vulgar. Who, me? You didn't think I was vulgar when you married me. Well, things are different now. We've come up in the world. Uh, I don't like to see you taking this society racket too serious. Just because I have friends who can get us somewhere, you're not jealous. Well, I think you're seeing too much of Winston. You don't understand, Alex. He's an aristocrat. He's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Mm, I bet it had somebody else's initials on it. Well, if it wasn't for him, you'd still be playing small-time vaudeville. We were happier then than we are now. Well, I wasn't. Oh, baby, let's don't have another row. Gee whiz, it seems like that's all we do lately. I don't want to quarrel, Benny. All right, Mrs. Darrell. Let's look around the cave. You know, baby, I've got to get used to living in a swell place like this. Oh, darling, you'll never grow up. Who, me? Baby, what's a swell musical? Oh, come along and see the apartment.
Dear? Did you invite them here? Yeah. Why, sure I did. They're friends of ours. I didn't tell them to bring their band instruments, though. But gee, I guess it's good they did. Well, the party was dying on us. You humiliated me before all these people. Oh, uh, listen, Flo. I'll never forgive you for that. Well, I, I did the wrong thing again. But your friends made the party. I know, but it's Flo. Gee, I think I've made her awful sore. Folks, there's been so much discussion about jazz that I've written a new song that I want to sing for you here today. New one I've called Jericho. <laughs> Way, way back in the Bible days, though there was no praise for jazz, still they knew when they went to war, what a kick the cornet has. Walnut well, Jericho began to cave in to the trumpet to blow. The people gave in Jericho, Jericho. Long ago, like a musical 
written. My girlfriend myself is going to sing it for you. It's a little number I've called, Do Do Something. Here's yours, honey. All right, boy? Huh? Yeah, Come on. Huh? There you go. go in and square myself with Flo. I think you'd better, too. Yeah, I'd better do that. I didn't want you to be in a draft. <clears throat> that was odd. He spoiled my party this afternoon, bringing his cheap Broadway friends here. He just doesn't understand and he'll never learn. That's it, my dear. He'll never learn. Look here, you're going to do great things. You could be the greatest dancer in America. But Benny's got as far as he'll ever go. He's just standing in the way of your career. You remember a short time ago we made a bet? I bet you a bracelet you wouldn't stay with Benny for a month. Well, I'm sure of winning it. But I want you to have the bracelet just the same. Oh, oh but I couldn't. Don't be ridiculous. We made a bet, didn't we? It's perfectly all right. Now listen, Flo. Don't you think you'd better come in and... Who does the bracelet belong to? It belongs to her. We made a bet and I lost. Take it off. Look here, you don't understand. You take it off or I will. Alec, I apologize for him. Oh, you, you don't have to apologize for me. Now, oh, you get out. Oh. Get out! How dare you speak like that to my friends? Wait, Alec, I want you to hear this. This is the end. We're through. I won't dance with you at the club tonight. You'll have to make some explanation, Alec. And when you're ready to open your new club, I'll dance there with another partner. Is that a promise? I yes. You Thank you, my dear. I'll name it for you. For it's so the club flirted. To see that you never loved me. Sunshine has turned 
into rain. Do you really mean it? And oh, oh, you want to split? Yes, we can't go on like this. I can't stand it. I want to be free. Into sadness. Free to marry Winston? Sweetheart, if you should stray. All right, Flo. I won't stand in your way. I'll always be in love. I must go in now to my guest. And though you find more bliss in someone else's kiss, I'll always be in love with you. I can't do any more. I've tried so hard to please. But let me thank you for such tender memories. I wish you happiness. But as for me, sweetheart, I guess I'll always be in She's leaving me to marry Winston. Hello, Lou. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Benny. Where you been keeping yourself at? We ain't seen you in a week. What's this, a case right off the boat? That's the last of my stuff from Park Avenue. Flo sent my truck a week ago. I guess she's through all right. Well, it's better to have loved than lost. Oh, much better. <laughs> Where'd you get the piano, Benny? Tell her you brought it with you in your suitcase. She'll believe anything. Well, Flo and me always had a piano, no matter how poor we was. I, I just rented this one to make the place seem more homelike. I'll make it sound more homelike, Benny. All right, Lou. Play the one I like. Oh, all right. Sweetheart, if you should stray a million miles away, I'll always be in love with you. And though you find more bliss, in someone else's kiss, I'll always be in love with you. I can't do any more, I've tried so hard to please. But let me thank you for such tender memories. I wish you happiness, but as for me, sweetheart, I guess. I'll always be in love with you, sweetheart. If you should stray a million miles away, I'll always be in love with you. Oh, Lou, and Lou, please stop. I never want to hear that song again. Oh, all right, Benny. I'm sorry. There's a smart girl. She knows a telephone bell when she hears one. Yeah. Oh, hello, Hummel. No, I told you a couple of times I ain't interested. No, I don't want to go back in vaudeville. No, not at any price. So long. Jake Hummel wants me to get a dancing partner and go back in vaudeville. Why don't you, Benny? You need the money. It's no use, Lou. Oh, snap out of it, Benny. While Flo's riding around the limousine, you're riding around the hearse. Flo's through with me. But I could never dance with anybody else. Say, you got lots of friends, haven't you? Look at that society girl, Miss Elliot. Call me again last night. I had a lie just like a husband. I don't know where Benny is. Just like you told me to.
Come on, vacuum. We got work to do. Oh, here's an old picture of Flo. Oh, if you had any more sense, you'd be a half-wit. So long, Lou. So long, Benny. the right way. Why don't you do as I tell you? Every time you tell me different. I don't know what to do. My husband, my other partner used to live me more slowly. You always talk of your other partner. If he was so good, why didn't you keep him? I know how to dance. You can't talk to me that way. If you want to keep your job, you'll do as I say. I'll try it again. All right. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. Why don't you do the way I tell you to do it? You'll never learn. Now look, put your right foot forward and on that, lift me and swing me around the swing me faster. How did you manage to get us in, Lou? I framed it with a doorman. <laughs> He'd have sold me his coat for a dollar more. <laughs> My, what a lovely place. Just think of Winston doing all this for Flo. But he'll probably get his money's worth. What are you poking me for? Say, you're not dumb, you're unconscious. Oh, go on. I was just thinking how different it is from the other club. The night Benny and Flo made their first big hit. Why don't you shut up? Well, this, this is certainly the right setting for Flo. Gee, I hope she makes a big hit tonight. Hello, folks. Hello, Jake. Hello, Jake. Wonderful evening, eh? Yeah. It was up till now. <laughs> it's too bad you're not in on it, Benny. Flo's got that chic Artino for a dancing partner. She could have done better. I never heard of him. Can he dance? What difference does it make? He's got sex appeal. <laughs> Say, Benny. You're crazy not to take my offer and go back in the vaudeville? Oh, forget it, will you? I told you I'm through with dancing. Well, I'll be around after you again. Don't forget. That guy's got the same technique as a horsefly. <laughs> There's your society friend, Miss Elliot.
Doesn't he play gorgeously? Hello, Rita. Congratulations, Alec. How do you do? How do you do? Don't get up. You amuse me. Do I? I've never seen you before in the role of the handsome homewrecker. It suits you very well. <laughs> Thanks. Now that you've separated them, I hope you won't push your luck too far. What do you mean? <laughs> if they're divorced. I'm afraid Flo may be one of those old-fashioned girls who demands a wedding ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, excuse me, will you? Rita, that was very mean of oh. you. <laughs> Florida, if you don't sit still, I can't hook your dress. I can't sit still. I'm too nervous. Oh, I never felt like this in all the years I danced with Benny. See how much time I have before I dance. Yes. What's the matter, Benny? Don't you like that song? Say, it takes genius to be as dumb as you are. I didn't hear you come in. I wanted to startle you. With these. My best wishes for your success tonight. And my love. Be careful, you'll spoil my makeup. Why, what's the matter? You, you seem nervous. Naturally. The first time with a new partner. I don't feel any confidence in him. He doesn't hold me the way... Well, he doesn't hold me right. I'm worried. Do you think they'll like me out there tonight? My dear, of course they'll like you. And what's more important, I adore you. Miss Sloan, you're on next. Oh, there's my call. Well, I wish I felt sure of our tea now. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Tonight's the night for you, my dear. For both of us. My dear friends, this is rather an unusual thing for me to do, but I want to make this announcement personally. I have the privilege of presenting to you tonight someone whom you all know. And so it is my great pleasure to introduce to you, in her own club, Miss Florette Sloan and her new dancing partner, Bremo Artino.
Get a glass of water, quick. Yes, sir. Here, honey, drink this for Mammy. Here, honey, drink this. There, you'll be all right now. Perhaps you'd better leave her alone with me. All right. I guess I'd, I'd only be in the way anyhow. Smelling salts. Oh, if uh, Miss Sloan asks for me, tell her I've gone home, will you? I will, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Hello, my dear. They told me you'd gone home. I didn't tell them which home. Did you order the supper? Yes. I even thought of that. I'll ring for Hickson to serve it then. I told Hickson he needn't wait up for us. Oh. I wanted you all to myself tonight. Please, Alec. Come. We'll have a cosy little supper. I think it went tonight. Well, let's not talk about that. But I want to talk about it. Do you think falling that way spoiled the whole thing? I mean, do you think I was a hit? Frankly, my dear, your brilliant opening as the star of your own club wasn't entirely successful. Of course, it wasn't your, all your fault. Your partner was to blame. But the whole thing was, well, rather unfortunate. Do you mean that seriously, Alex? Fred, I do, my dear. Read tomorrow morning's papers and you'll find that public opinion can be very unkind. But that needn't worry you. I've got some other plans. What do you mean? We're going to Europe, you and I. I've always wanted to take you to Paris. Well, what do you say? Sounds very nice. Good. How soon can you be ready? It's about sailing Tuesday. But it'll take at least six months for me to get my divorce. Oh, oh you can get a divorce any time. We can't be married until I do get it. Married? <laughs> Who said anything about that? But didn't you mean... Good Lord, no. We don't want to get tangled up in a mess like marriage. You aren't suggesting that we should go abroad without being married. Hmm. Why not? <laughs> After all, we're both civilized. I'm afraid you've made a mistake if you think I'm that sort of person. Oh, come now, you can't make a haughty exit like this. Why do you think I've done so much for you? Why do you think I've put thousands of dollars into that club just for your dancing? No, my dear. As a star in your own right, you're a failure. You can't mean that, Alice. True, so why not be sensible about it? Let me understand you. If I don't go away with you, I can't con continue at the Club Flora. Well, I wouldn't put it so bluntly, but... You know I want you very much and... And if I agree to your terms, I can come back to the Club later? Don't you see, I'm mad about you. I'll give you anything you want. So just enough of you come in and say hello and to find out how you are. Don't tell me you're not glad to see us. Of course. I'm awfully glad to see you. Do you mind if I tell Rita and Sylvester the news? What news? Claret. 
At the club tonight, I was a failure. Alec has fired me. Of course, he was very nice about it. And he's offered me another contract. But I don't like the terms. So I shan't be doing any more business with him. It looks as though you've overplayed your hand. There's one thing about this game. You can always draw another hand. My dear, I couldn't wait to tell you your dancing tonight was gorgeous. It's all right. You can tell me the truth. I know how bad I was. Oh, well, of course, if you know, it was pretty bad, wasn't it? I'm afraid it was. Oh, never mind, my dear. It was just a bit of bad luck. Maybe it was good luck for me. Up to tonight, I didn't realize I'd been stepping too high. All right, I have something to say to you. I don't think there's anything more to say. In that case, I'll be on my way. Good night. Wait. Thanks for the use of these. Don't be silly. I'm afraid you misunderstood me. On the contrary, this is the first time I've understood you. Good night. Good night. Rita! Sylvester, will you wait down at the motor for me, please? Well, for goodness sake, I'm all a Twitter. I just can't wait to tell everyone that Alex didn't give him the air. <laughs> what are you going to do, my dear? I don't know. I won't be able to stay here. I can't keep this apartment. I guess I'll just find a job. Won't you go back to Benny? He's always loved you. No. Benny wouldn't want me now. I don't blame him. I've been such a fool. What's the matter, Lou? You've been acting like an undertaker all day. Ain't you feeling well? You been to see the doctor? That wouldn't do me no good. Is it your stomach? No, it's my head. I'm married. Go on. Well, I'm a son of a gun. Come in. Hello, Peggy. Well, did you hear the good news? Mm. Lou caught me at last. <laughs> caught you? I got tired running away from you. <laughs> Say, I'm tickled to death. No kidding, I am. And I want to tell you, Peggy, you're a very lucky girl. That's what I've been telling her. Yes, and we're going out of town for a wedding trip. Yeah. She says I should see more of my own country than just Broadway. He's never been away from Broadway in his life. No, sir. But we're going away on our honeymoon. Yeah. Where to? Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Jake. Now, Jake, I told you no. No, I wouldn't be interested going back dancing for fifteen hundred a week. Fifteen hundred for what? Whoa. Who are you talking to, Benny? Jake Hummel. He wants me to get a dancing partner and go back in vaudeville for fifteen hundred a week. Well, I do. Do you mean it? Oh, baby, wait a minute. Hello. Hello, Jake. Now, listen, Jake, get this straight. I changed my mind. You can book me to open Monday. Anywhere, I don't care. Have I got a partner? Oh, the best there is. Can she dance? <laughs> the name of the act? The name of the act is Daryl and Sloan. All right, Jake. Goodbye. Oh. oh, Benny, I've been such a little fool. Oh, honey, just be yourself. I will be, darling, from now on. Oh, Lou! 
Lou, Lou, wait a minute. Baby, what do you know? These two just got married. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> From now on, there ain't no more house detectives gonna bother me. <laughs>